What's up everybody, Kinda Busted here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your network card on your PC, the best way for online gaming. Let's get right into it. So you're going to come over to wherever your bar is, right? You're going to right click your network stuff, open network and sharing center, change adapter settings, and then this will work for Wi-Fi and your home network, both your Ethernet and Wi-Fi cards. I don't use my Wi-Fi cards, so we're going to be working with the home side. We're going to click properties. First thing you're going to want you to do is the QoS packet scheduler is checked, uncheck it, click OK, right click again, and back to properties. And then you click your configure button here. Exit out of that to get it off the screen. And then we're going to work on the advanced tab of your actual card, uh, whatever you're using Wi Fi or regular Ethernet. We're just going to run through all the settings, whether they're on or off, and what to do with them, real quick like to make it easy. Okay, ARP offload disabled, ECMA disabled, energy efficient Ethernet disabled, flow control disabled, interrupt modulation disabled, IPv4 checksum offload disabled, jumbo frame disabled. There are three large send offloads, both regular and version 2 for IPv4 and 6. All the large sends you want disabled. Again, large send offloads disabled, all three of them. Max IRQ per second, go ahead and crank that until it doesn't go any further. Max number of RSS queues, take the drop down tab to four. Network address, you don't have to worry about. NS offload, disabled. Receive buffers, go ahead and crank it all the way up so it doesn't go any further. Receive side scaling, do you want enabled? Shut down and wake up, enabled. Speed and duplex on auto negotiation. SWOI, disabled. TCP checksum offload IPv4, TCP checksum offload IPv6. You want both of those at RX and TX enabled. The transmit buffers all the way up so it doesn't go any further. The UDP checksum offloads IPv4 and IPv6. Same thing, RX and TX enabled. VLAN ID, don't worry about. Wake on magic packet and wake on pattern match. Both of those, if you know you need them, then keep them on. If you don't know what they are and you're not using them, then you don't need them. You can disable them both. Click OK and you're good to go. I hope that was informative. I hope that helps with your online gaming. If you like the video, smack the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Until the next one, I'm kind of busted. Peace out.